Grab your papers, lace, glue, and fabrics, and let's put together some embellishment clusters to use on cards and journals and tags. All right, let's get started. Welcome back to Livy's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel, and I'm your host, Fam the Fabulous. For more ideas, inspiration, swaps, and challenges, click the link in the description below to join our craft community, The Maker Exchange, on Facebook. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Okay, so I figured I'd go ahead and turn on the camera today so that I can show you what I have what I'm actually working on right now which is um, step one of some Mother's Day inspired cards and so using the paper pad that I picked up last uh, when the in the last video I showed you the flip through of this paper pad and so I told you I'd be using it on my next project and here we are so um, without further ado this is the first cluster that I made and I just used the cut aparts and on this one I didn't um, round the edges but on the other ones I did and I didn't I wanted it to have something like a set shabby chic look but that really isn't my aesthetic but because of the theme of the paper pad and the, the elements that are used and um, the people who I will be giving cards to I figured let me go with a theme that's rather popular so I, without further ado I'm using some bits of lace the I use the circle punch to punch out some of these that they have on one of the sheets this is the sheet that came in the pack and so I've cut pop, punched out a few of those and used those and then I also use the Tim Holtz distress ink and this is the vintage photo and then I just uh, used my corner rounder for um, the edges of most of these so I'm um, right now I'm just doing four clusters I'll probably do another four off camera but while I'm here I'll let you guys in on where I'm at right now so um, Let's see, we're going to use, and this really is, there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's whatever looks the best, whatever feels um, right. And then I don't use, I don't throw out any of the paper. I use what I can, where I can, where I can um, use it at. So, and then I also have my son here. Josh, say hi. Hi. He ain't that shy, y'all. He's just working on his computer. And uh, he's trying to be quiet for his mom, which is so kind. It's rare, so I'll take it. And so I'm just adding some different layers and some elements um, to give it some interest. Now I've got a few cards that I have to send out. I have to send out some some personal cards. I mean, you know, ones to my friends and family. <laughs> and then I got to make a few for the kids at at church for to give to their moms for Mother's Day along with the gifts that they made. And um I think that this Sunday they made tiles. They used Sharpies on 6 by 6 inch tiles and then they used, they sprayed it with alcohol and then it blurred it in different patterns. And so it created a little bit of work, a little bit of art on these tiles. And so on Sunday, when I go in, I'll spray it, spray it with a little bit of sealant and then hopefully it'll dry in time and I can wrap it up and give it to them as a gift. And I'll give them their cards to sign so that they can um, present those to their moms. They also, I think they also added, they, they also shot a video, um, you know, cute little video to, it'll be seen on Sunday. So what this, I got to pick this up and, lay, and glue this down in layers. So they, um, they went into the little makeshift studio we have on campus and then they, um, talked a little bit about mom, what mom means to them, and some funny little aspects. And so the moms will get a chance to see their babies on a big screen 
come Sunday. Move this, move this over. Yep. And so that will be something. And I did not. Now my son is in my class, but I had another teacher go with him to do his part so that he wouldn't be shy and he could answer the questions in peace without his mom hearing them. So I'm, I'll be surprised to see what the video looks like as well. Just as surprised as the rest of the parents. Now in the comments below, go ahead and drop down if there's anything that you guys are working on for Mother's Day. Um, any different projects or cards or scrapbook layouts or up cycles that you're doing. Or if you plan on taking your mom or your mother figure out for dinner or anything special like that. And I, pro I don't know if I've mentioned this here on the channel, but my mom has been, um, she's been gone for maybe, let's see, 30 years? Up oh, 28, 28 or 29 years now. So my, her sister, it, we call her auntie, has stepped in as the mother figure and she's now the matriarch of our family on that side of my family anyways um as my grandmother <clears throat> has passed she passed on a couple of years ago so i will also be sending a card to her as well she always enjoys um my handcrafted items and the gifts that i send to her she likes anything that's personalized really but she's also getting ready for her 60th birthday party. So I've got to put put together a little something for that. And because I won't be there for that, I definitely need to make sure that I send a video in my absence. I will actually be um, going to pick my dad up in Tennessee and relocating him here to Georgia to live. Because he needs to be with his daughter and his grandson, and of course my husband, but more importantly, his daughter. So now because I know that this is going on a card, I did put a little bit of, uh, I put up one square of the foam, the foam square on the back, just to give it some dimension. You know, I'm all about the dimension. And um, I am, I like to just put a little glue on it just in case it doesn't sit where I want it to sit, like just like right now. All right. And I like things off center, personally. That's my personal preference because I can never get anything solely centered, anyways. Right, Josh? He's right. <laughs> he says right. Okay. So I'm going to let that dry and move on to the next one. That's that one. Okay, and it's uh, like I said, it's no, it's definitely not a particular way of doing this. You just do what works for you, whatever way looks best, go with it. Oh, and the fabric, I have some fabric strips, which is actually, I'm going to show you, it's this fabric. It's just a small remnant. I have made quite a bit of things out of this. I think I had bought a yard when I actually originally got it. But I ripped up some of the pieces from that and we'll use that probably on this. Yeah. To make it truly shabby chic. That'd be shabby alright. If I got anything to do with it. Now I cut that in so it's not so that it doesn't have a straight cut. I just went on ahead and um, pulled some of the threads from the end, and I'm going to cut that bottom end off and do the same thing. Let's see if that's small enough. It is. So these clusters. Now, you, if I didn't pop the round circles up on um, on a foam tape I could use those 
in my journal, some of these elements in my journal, but because I did, I don't want to add bulk to my journal because Lord knows it is already too thick as it stands right now. So I'm going to let that be. I have another piece of, where is it? Okay, here it is. Like a wood grain. And I gotta rough up this edge because it's this is the outer edge of a, the top part of the paper. You know what the part that stays in the book. That's what this is because it's not the actual page. And this is nature. Then I think I'm going to use a small piece of lace, maybe in this direction. Let's see. That might work. Okay. Yep, that's cute. And then I think this one's cute. I didn't ink that one, so I'll go ahead and do that now. And, oh, that's good. And that is why this is down, because even though my table, which I'll be redoing this weekend, even though it's a hot mess, I still don't want to have ink on my table. And then when I go to go work on it, I have glue and ink on pages that need to be turned in or submitted or scanned or mailed out. So, got to kind of protect your surface. Sometimes you just have to, you're protecting it from yourself, in my case anyways. Alright, so we'll use that. Now, if I was doing this with just papers, I would. You could use a glue stick, um, and Eileen, not Eileen's, um, art the art glitter glue. But because we are, I need to put a little bit more glue down there. But because we're using fabric, you want something that's going to hold the fabric in place once it dries, and so that it'll dry clear as well. So that's where the Eileen's tacky glue comes in place. I've got a couple bottles of it. It's multi-purpose. You can use it for practically anything. And I think I've seen somebody use it to decoupage with. So that's always an option. I didn't need to put glue down on that one. I need to put it down. Once I put this down on here, you all right over there, Josh? Yeah. Hmm. He's not always this quiet. Uh, he's rarely this quiet. Don't let it fool you. All right, so that says enjoy. Enjoy nature. I should be the one to talk because <laughs> I don't get out like that. Not in this Georgia heat. You see that one? I'll show you guys the last. I'll show them to you when we're all done. Okay, so this one is pretty busy. So it's going to have to go on this side, although that's not any less busy than the other side. But what I can do is take a strip from here of this side that I can't use. Let me tear it. 
this last piece down here. The circles are halved, so I can't use it. And the opposite side is wood grain, so that's perfect to get some good contrast going. You know what I mean? Yep. You do, Josh? Mm -hmm. You know what your mom me means? That's right. You're the son of a crafter. And it is a rainy day here in Georgia. Perfect for a good nap. But it's closer to bedtime, so no naps is going down right now. We're just relaxing, crafting. Well, we're relaxing and crafting because he's doing his own little craft over there. Computer or technology is a craft in and of itself, my understanding. It's a little bit of white showing still on there that I'm not quite comfortable with. All right, and I think I will use just the lace and behind there. I'm gonna have to cut that though. It's amazing that even though I'm only making four little clusters at this moment, this table looks like I've made a batch of 70. It's ridiculous. Now, and I also need want to know if you guys want to drop in the comments, am I the only one who drops hints about what they want for Mother's Day? Because as we're in the store, you know, even if we're at Walmart, I will point out to my son something that I want. Like I saw the Pioneer Woman's, um, t this tea kettle set that she had, and it's gorgeous. It's my favorite colors, which is... Um, Actually, you see it right here in this here pad. This here red, I love the different shades of red. Not red red, not primary color red, but like a raspberry red or an oxblood red. And then the different shades of teal. I also love coral. So those are my three go-to colors if you ever want to buy something for me or share something with me. That you will not go wrong with, okay? So there you have it on that. Um, so I point out to him the things that I like, you know, so he can share that information, that wealth of information with dad, uh, and they can go out well ahead of time in advance and pick out something for his sweet mom and my husband's wonderful wife, the mother of his child, you know, because uh, I'm just trying to help them out. I don't want them to struggle with finding things that they think that I might like. It shouldn't hurt. It shouldn't be painful gift giving. So if I can do that for them, I mean, who am I not to? Am I the only one? I cannot be the only one out here um, giving gentle reminders of the things that we have our eyes on that we would feel guilty buying for ourselves because the kids in the house always have needs. I also have my eye on quite a bit of craft projects like for right now um, one thing that I wanted to get was um, the croc croc crocodile I want a crocodile and I also saw um, there's a stamp set I saw it's on scrapbook.com they have quite a few um, I want some stamps with ladies on them you know, larger size stamps so that I can color on them, you know, and color and make them all cute and everything. Hmm. Or a, a die, no, not a die, but a stamp. Like, I like the Julie Nutting, 
but it seems like that whole um she has her own fan base and that whole fan base they they devote some time to that craft let me tell you you are not going to grab one of her stamps and just um randomly put together you know stamp out on a piece of paper and keep it moving um, is that what you want yeah all right well you shall see how it works yeah. it's that's a step down from windows 10. i know i like windows 8 better than windows 10. okay that's up to you anyways um but yeah so the julie nutting dolls I mean, I've seen these women like take it to the next level with different fabrics, I mean, different um, prints and what have you. And I don't know if I actually have that kind of time. Um, I think if I wasn't, if I didn't have a child and I wasn't homeschooling and I had, you know, maybe a solid two hours every day uh, at the end of the night to devote to uh, crafting, I probably wouldn't mind it. But I think... The only time I, I do that is when it's for a pro it's an actual project for a purpose and I'm you know I could either do that or I could save or I could go out and purchase it so in times where I have to gift give I mean where gift giving is the the thing I have to buy, go out and buy something or I can make it then I will devote a little bit more time to that process but um, just <laughs> to make it because I like it and it's cute I feel guilty I'd feel guilty use that time so here we are here are the four embellishment clusters that we made out of the flower market and I'm gonna zoom in just a bit so you can see it the um, the they're still a little damp and they bend up a little bit you know depending on what you lay down on them and how the glue pulls them in but when you go to go glue these to whatever item you are affixing them to journal or card or tag um, they will lay flat you you have the ability to flatten them out with um, your glue so fear not anyways all that being said I want to thank you for tuning in for coming back and joining me on this little uh, embellishment uh, creative session here and stay tuned for the next one, which I, I haven't done it yet, but soon come. Um, I will likely go ahead and um, make cards using these. Probably um, lay them on top of some additional paper or I, I have no idea. Uh, I'll figure it out as I go along, but I'm going to make a few more off camera. And then um, I'll show you how I use these on cards. And so... If you're new to the channel and you liked what you saw, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe. It is free. It's uh, free. They charge you nothing. Not They charge you free 99. Okay? Free 99 to subscribe. So go ahead and click the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so that you are made aware of each and every crafty, lovely upload. And until we're back here again on YouTube, stay encouraged, stay blessed, stay creative and crafty. Bye for now. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe to join the crafty community and be sure to click the bell for notifications of new uploads. Thank you so much for watching. Now stay tuned for more from Lily's Lefties, your inspirational craft channel. Bye for now.